in lane number one, representing Stanford Swimming and Palo Alto Stanford. 2015 NCAA champion in the 2 IM, David Nolan. Lane two, representing the YMCA of the Triangle Area, a three-time NCAA All-American, Joe Bach. Lane three, representing Rock Bridge Storm, placed fifth in the 53 yesterday evening, William Copeland. Lane four, representing the Bowl School Sharks and the University of Florida. Winner in last night's 53, in the fastest time ever by an 18 and under, Caleb Dressel. Lane five, representing Swim Mac Carolina and Mizzou. A 2015 NCAA All-American in the 100 free, Michael Chadwick. Lane six, representing Swim Mac Carolina, a two-time U.S. Olympian and Olympic gold medalist, Colin Jones. Lane seven, representing nation's capital and the University of Texas. Runner up in the 100 and 200 fly at these championships, Jack Conger. Lane eight, swimming unattached, placed fifth in the 100 free at the 2013 NCAA championships, BJ Hortico. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your A final men's 100 meter freestyle. Top seed, Caleb Dressel, 48.98, was just one one hundredth off his national age group record of 48.97 this morning. San Antonio, don't wait till they come off the wall. You can cheer anytime you want. These guys really respond to your effort. Bearing down on the 50, Colin Jones at 23.18, followed by B.J. Hornico. And now Caleb Dressel in lane number four, up to challenge for the win. Dressel, very controlled going out. At the touch, it is Caleb Dressel. Caleb Dressel winning in a time of 48-78, a new 17-18 national age group record. Placing second. In a time of 49.05, he was eighth at the turn, second at the finish, Jack Conger. And finishing third at 49.09, William Copeland. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause to your champion out there in lane number four, first to 50, now the 100, Caleb Dressel. Hey, Caleb just needs a second to catch his breath. After taking a few seconds to catch his breath, Caleb, congratulations. How would you assess your performance on that swim? Um, I think it was a good swim. It's, uh, I'm wrapping up the meet. I had a few minutes before this, so I'm pretty tired, but I'll end it with that, and uh, I have Hunter Fly tomorrow to get ready for. So it's been a successful meet for you for you so far. What are your goals from this point forward? Um, I don't want to establish anything too early. I'm just going to get back in the water, keep working, and we'll see what we can do. 
You're at the University of Florida, a program that's traditionally known for its distance. You being a swimmer, how has that benefited you? Um, you know, I'm just trying to prove uh, Greg Troy's whole philosophy wrong, trying to ruin his reputation that he can't uh, coach sprinters. <laughs> Caleb, thank you. Thank you.